In this video, we will demonstrate cuff inflation for water-filled tracheostomy cuffs and the minimal occlusive volume technique to establish the amount of water required to achieve a cuff seal. This video should be used in conjunction with the OPIC tracheostomy cuff management clinical procedure. The bivona tight-to-shaft tracheostomy has a water-filled cuff. The cuff is permeable to air. Explain the procedure to the patient. Ensure that the patient is in a comfortable position. If the patient is using a Passimure valve, this must be removed prior to inflating the cuff. For the bivona tight-to-shaft cuff, use of the minimal occlusive volume technique is used to establish the amount of water required to achieve a cuff seal. Do not attach a cuff manometer as the water will damage it. The minimal occlusive volume is initially determined by trans a senior physiotherapist or a senior medical clinician and should be documented in the patient's notes or the clinical instruction sheet at the patient's bedside. Prepare the necessary equipment. This will include routine tracheostomy PPE as per hospital policy, a 10 ml syringe, a water for injection ampule, a stethoscope. Perform hand hygiene and put on PPE. Minimal occlusive volume technique for non-ventilated patients. Inflate the cuff until there is no audible airflow through the upper airway. Use a stethoscope or until there are no audible sounds. Minimal occlusive volume technique for invasively ventilated patients. Inflate the cuff with water for injection until there is no audible air leak in the upper airway. Use a stethoscope and listen on the side of the thyroid cartilage or until there are no voice sounds present.